All right, hey, how you doing? My name is William Lawson. This is the Saxophone Factory. And um, I'm going to continue working on the Rubank uh, Elementary Method for flute. I'm going to uh, be recording Lesson 9. And across the top of Lesson 9, real quick, um, there's some uh, re review. Uh, there is, uh, under Circle 1, there is a flat in the key signature. Now the, way, now, the way they write it is, they write it a flat in the key signatures, so they won't have to write a flat after every single note they want flat. And they expect the, the musician, the, the player, to remember the key signature. Uh, there are two eighth notes written together. You see those on, under Circle 2. Circle 3 has two eighth rests, individual eighth rests, that's what they look like. Uh, the uh, circle four has a quarter note C. Circle five has a whole note D. Remember how to finger D? We're fingering T with a D with the second finger, the third finger, the paddle. I call that the paddle there, and the uh, and the thumb key. There you go. Sorry about that. About that. And then of course we have on the circle six the E flat. That's on the that's on the um, on the staff. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. The paddle and the thumb key. There we are. Under circle seven, we have a, a new key signature with two flats, B flat and E flat, and that is the key of B flat. Um, and then we have a dotted quarter note under circles, circle eight. Circle nine has a three, four time signature. Remember the top number is the number of counts per measure, and the bottom number is what kind of note gets one count. And in um, circle 10, we have a two, four. Same thing, how many counts? Two. What kind of note gets gets one count? A quarter note. There we are. All right, number one. Uh, lesson nine. We have um, we are in the key of B flat, so we have a B flat and an E flat. Unless there's an accidental, all the Bs are flat and all the E's are flat. No matter what octave they're in. Here we go. <sighs> Flute is kind of cold. One, two. B flat major scale. Scales are super important. We need to learn all of our scales. We don't need to le learn to read them. We need to have them memorized. We know that the B flat scale, by its name, starts on B flat, has a B flat and an E flat in it. It goes from B flat to B flat and has a B flat and an E flat in it. Here we go. In two four times, two no two uh, counts per um, two uh, yeah two counts per note. One, two, ready? There you go. That's all there is to it. All right. Now we're going to deal with dotted quarter notes. Now remember, this is important, you might want to write this down. A dot adds half of the note's normal value to it. I'll say it again. Say it with me. A dot adds half of the note's normal value to it. So if you have a quarter note that gets one count, what's half of one? Well, half. So half plus one is one and a half. So you get one and a half counts. There you go. All of the first part of the count and half of the of, of the next count. All right, let's do, let's do number three. There aren't any ties or dotted notes in that rhythm. So we're going to do number three. It is in the key of B flat, B flat and E flat. Here we go. One, two, and Number four 
we can see that the quarter note and the first eighth note are tied together. The quarter note gets one count. The eighth note gets a half a count. So we have one and a half counts to start with. One and three, four is how it's counted. One and three, four. Say it with me. Ready? Go. One and three, four. All right. We're going to play number four. One, two. Ready? Remember I told you that if you add a dot to a quarter note, it gets one and a half counts? Just like we just did when we tied a quarter note to an eighth note. It gets one and a half counts. And if you look at number five, it's a dotted quarter note and a single eighth note. Counted the very same way. One and three, four, one and three, one and three, four, one and three, one, and so forth. All right. You can play number four while I play number five. I know, sounds complicated, but you'll find very quickly that it isn't. I'm playing number five, you're playing number four. One, two, ready, go. see how the, how the rhythm is exactly the same. It's just two ways of drawing it. That makes sense to you? If I'm going too fast, you can do a couple of things. You can, you can stop the video, go back and practice and come back, or, or you can, on, on YouTube, click the gear and then click a slower speed, and I'll go slower for you. All right. This piece of music that we're going to play now, number six, America, the beautiful in B-flat, has some dotted quarter notes in them. Can you spot them? Will you be able to spot them when we play them? Remember, a dotted quarter note gets one and a half counts. The start of all, gets all of one, one beat and then the first half of the next beat. Here we go. It's in the key of B-flat. So it has a B flat and an E flat in it. One, two, three. And there you are. There you are. The second measure has a dotted quarter note rhythm. The fourth measure has a dotted note rhythm. And then on, on the second line, the first on, the first measure has a dotted note rhythm. And the third and the fifth has a dotted note rhythm. One and three. All right, now number seven, we're going to practice that dotted note rhythm again and again. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of them there in number seven. There's a B flat and an E flat in the key signature. The time signature is 2 4. What's that mean? Exactly right. Here we go. One, two, ready? We didn't do the repeat, but that's the rhythm. All right, number eight. Let's finish up the page. 
Now, look carefully. Look at number eight carefully because it changed keys. It's back in the key of F with only one flat. And we are going to do the repeat. We are going to do the repeat. Here we go. One, two. And there we are, lesson nine. Lesson nine le helps us with, with tied notes and dotted quarter notes. So practice this page until you've got it cold before you go on to lesson 10. My name is Willie Lawson. This has been the Saxophone Factory. Until I see you again, keep playing.